Voting in person for Florida's primary got underway today and not without some confusion out there. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney live for us tonight at a polling place in West Palm Beach to clear it all up for us. Matt. Yeah, Shannon, the confusion apparently is over those new district lines for members of Congress that just went into effect and were officially approved just a couple months ago, which means that even if you think you know who the candidates are, depending upon where you live, you may want to check before you come out to vote. We don't want to waste our vote. No one wants to waste their vote, including Hans Klein of Boynton Beach, who was more than surprised to see a sample ballot in the mail that had him in a different congressional district. We knew that we were in 21, in district, Congressional District 21. So the first thing we did is we checked our own cards and said, yeah, we are, but this is 22. The confusion, it seems, is over redistricting, new lines drawn over the latest census numbers. It puts people like Hans into new districts. And while it can seem confusing, the supervisor of elections says there is no mistake. We get calls that our voters are confused. They think we might have the wrong number down, but we point out, no, the, the district they're running for is different than the district number they're currently holding. Wendy Sartori Link says that can mean incumbents in one district might be seeking re-election in another district now. Her office is also contending with new election laws, which means tighter security and equipment around mail-in ballots as they're open. Plus, there are stricter laws regarding security around ballot drop boxes. One way to make voting easier is a new appointment system for voting to avoid any waiting. It's a pilot program that we're doing in this election to see if it's got good response and if it's successful. If it works out well, I think it'll be great for voters in the general. And so far, we're told over 60 people took advantage of that, making appointments to come vote today the first day of primary voting, and those appointments can be made online and scheduled at any of the 21 early voting places they have in Palm Beach County. Might be a good idea. Nobody likes waiting online. We're live in West Palm Beach. Matt says in WPTV News Channel 5. For a complete list of early voting locations and everything else you need to know for the primary, just head to our website, WPTV.com. Then click on the Voter Guide tab right there at the top of the page.